Today, we bring you a story of a girl and a young boy. Both were exposed to the same smothering poverty on a submarginal farm surrounded by mosquito-infested marshlands. In the summer, the fog would rise from the swamps with an acrid, strangulating odor. And in the winter, its sharp, penetrating cold would slash at the flesh like a murderous knife. It was a killing environment. Yet, it gave birth to a saint in our own time. And now, the Madonna of the Marshlands. God to whom it belongeth always to show mercy and to spare. We are both dead. We humbly beseech thee for the soul of thy servant, Luigi Goretti, that thou deliver him not into the hands of the enemy, but command that he be taken to paradise, and that he may not suffer the pains of hell, but have joy everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Cry, Maria, my child. Cry for your papa, your daddy. Father, thy will be done. Well, it's about time you and your brood got back here, Mrs. Goretti. When a man's dead, he's dead. <laughs> Stop that racket, all of you. I've had my belly full of it. Oh, Giovanni, please. Don't talk like that in front of the children. If you don't like it, get out. You know I can. I know. You haven't got a lira to your name. That isn't the only reason. I've got to fill out Luigi's contract in the field. Then get out there. But first, give us something to eat. My son and I can't work on empty bellies. Alessandro, come on, we're going to eat. <laughs> And make that sniffling brat stop that noise. Maria, shush. Rock the baby, Maria, while I get lunch. I'll do it, Mother. If you've got to take Daddy's place in the fields, I'll take yours here. But you're only a child, Maria. How can you cook, wash, and sew for two men, look after the children, clean the Her house? father's little Madonna. <laughs> Let's see how long she remains, the little Madonna now. Well, when do we eat? Oh, right away, Alessandro. Sit at the table. Sprinkle a little cheese on that polenta, Maria. Yes, Mother. There. You eat, Mother. I'll rock the baby. Where's my wine? Get my wine. <laughs> you don't need wine, you drunken old devil. Now you shut up. You're speaking to your father. <laughs> As if I'm likely to forget it, huh? <laughs> You're not going to drive me to the lunatic asylum like you did my mother and brother. That's just where you'll wind up. I'll see you there first. Now you shut up before... Quiet. Please, the baby's trying to sleep. Don't you quiet us. We're the bosses here now. Did you hear me tell you to get my wine from my room? Or do I have to beat it into you? Go on up, Maria. Yes, Mother. The fifth commandment of the law of God forbids all willful drunkenness, fighting, anger, hatred, revenge. And while you're up there, take a good look at my picture gallery, huh? <laughs> I won't have those pictures on the walls of my home, Alessandro. When did you put them there? Never mind when I put them there. Besides, it isn't your wall anymore. It's mine. And I'll put up anything I please. No, Alessandro, you can't. The children... Who's going to stop me? But the children... Blindfold them. My pictures are staying up there. <laughs> Aren't they, Papa? <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Oh, Signora Goretti. Signora, what is it? Come now and sit down. Now, what's wrong, Signora? Oh, everything, Padre. Everything. But mostly Maria. She's like someone in a trance ever since the fever took her father. If she'd only cry... Why don't you try talking to her about it? Oh, 
And there's Giovanni and Alessandro Serenelli. The old man drinks, and the young one, he gives off an evil smell like the marshes. But that isn't all. Luigi borrowed so heavily against the crop at the store, I can hardly get enough credit to feed my children. Don't you have some pigeons? Oh, only a handful, and the coop's broken. Then I'll get you some more and have some coops made. Oh. And then you could sell their eggs and the young squabs in town here. Oh, but I've got to work in the fields from sun up to sundown. And then it's an eight-mile walk into town here on dirty, dusty roads. Well, maybe Maria can manage. Don't forget she walked as far to the Mazzolini house to learn to read so that I could teach her the catechism after Mass on Sundays. But she's so young and beautiful. I'm so afraid I... Oh, but she looks and acts several years older than her years. I'm sure she can hold her own with the street vendors in town. And besides, there's a light that shines from within, Maria. I doubt very much that anyone would harm her. I know. The little Madonna, her father called her. And so she is, thanks to your teaching. And to yours too, Padre. Thank you, Padre. I feel better now. Well, I'm glad. I'll see to those pigeons and coops right away. Oh, Mother. Oh, Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Would Jesus please help my brothers and sisters from feeling too hungry today? Prayer never fills the belly. Where's your mother? Oh, isn't she out in the field, Giovanni? I wouldn't be asking you if she was. Good morning, Giovanni. What's good about it? Where have you been? No work, no eat, you understand? Now, come on, get going. Oh, Mother, I wish I could work for you. You work hard enough, my child. But maybe if two of us worked in the field, we could make up for... for... Oh, say it, Maria, say it. Your daddy, who loved you so much. Oh, cry, darling, cry. Signora Garetti, get out here. I'll take your brood and get off this farm. Oh, go, Mother, go. I'll do the washing. Yes. There's nothing else we can do. Daddy. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> Alessandro, you frightened me for a moment, coming out of the dark like that. You're beautiful, even in the dark, Maria. I, I sold all my eggs and squabs in town today, the first time. Wasn't that wonderful? I prayed to Jesus. Maria. Maria, I want you. I've got to have you. No! No! <laughs> oh, Maria, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Oh, there is. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, no, Mother. Nothing. You've got enough to worry about. Maria, come here. Sit beside me. The eyes, my child, are the windows of the soul. And I can see right through yours. Now tell me, what's the matter? Alessandra came out of the dark as I was coming in the gate. He frightened me. That's all. Is that all? No, Mother. Yesterday when I was scrubbing his room, he suddenly appeared out of nowhere and tried to force me to look at the pictures on his wall. Oh. We could only get away from here. But we can't. No, not until the crop is in. Maybe not even then. I'm, I'm afraid we owe more against it than it will bring. Well, here's the money for the squabs and eggs. Everybody was so nice to me, oh. even Flora. Oh, she's an evil old... What, Mother? Maria, you've got to guard against two things in this world of ours. Danger from without and weakness from within. You must turn to our blessed Lord, Maria, and to his holy mother for help. Purity is your most precious possession. With it, you're rich. Without it, you're more poverty-stricken than the lowest beggar. Oh, don't worry, Mother. Don't ever worry on that score. I made Jesus a promise when I made my first communion. A promise I'll never break, never. What was that promise, my child? 
I'll repeat it before Our Lady's statue. Dear Jesus, I love you. I love you with all my heart and soul. I promise to die rather than to offend you by an ugly sin of impurity. Sweet Mother of Sorrows and my mother, help me to keep my promise to the end of my life. good for nothing? Is that how you sew on a button? Singing and looking out the window? Take your dirty drunken hands off her. Oh, so that's why none of the women in town are good enough for you, huh? It's Maria you want, you empty head. Forgive Giovanni, dear Jesus. If I'm an empty head, it's because you didn't put anything in it. Here, here, I got something for you. Catch. Better looking girls in those picture books than your holier-than-thou little Madonna. Hey, where do you think you're going? Come back here. Ah, don't let her get you, son. Her goodness can be your poison. She's not for you. Not for any man, for that matter. Stay away from her, you hear me? Stick to your picture books. I'm warning you. You'll fry in hell if you don't. to sell your little ones, Mama Pigeon. Maybe next year we won't have to. I know you'll be glad. But not half as glad as we'll be. And when we leave here, I'll take all of you with me. Come in or out. Who are you? You're blocking what little light there is left and I can't see to feed the pigeons. <gasps> well, Alessandro, what are, you, what are you doing with that knife? It's not a knife. It's a dagger. Do you listen? <gasps> that hurt. Well, what do you know about that? It hurt. Then you must be real. I'll try it again. No, please! Please! Oh, that hurt even more, didn't it? Didn't it? You going to answer me? Do you want me to do it hard? No, please! Well, did it hurt or didn't it? All right. Kiss me. No, 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 leave me alone. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Blessed one. If you breathe one word of this to your mother, I'll kill you. Do you hear me? I'll kill you. <laughs> Mother, I wish he could find his way to Jesus. He does things I know he doesn't mean. I'll speak to him. See if I can't get him to go to church with us on Sunday. The part about church is all right, but don't say anything else to him. Why not? He'll... He'll what? Oh, nothing, Mother, nothing. Until we can leave here, I'll manage. Even if it kills me. What's the matter with you this morning? This is the second dish you've broken. Don't leave me, Mother. Not today, I'm afraid. Afraid of what? I don't know. Oh, Maria, we're threshing today. You know what that means. Every hand is needed, even those of the children. I know, Mother. I know. Are you coming out here to work, Signora? Or aren't you? These brats of yours aren't much help, so get out here. In a minute, Giovanni, in a minute. Oh, Maria. Go ahead, Mother. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. You're not sick, are you? No. I feel fine, Mother. And I'll try not to break any more dishes. You're sure you feel all right? I'm sure, Mother. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for me now. Take my wagon. 
back in a minute, huh? I gotta get a drink of water. Well, hello, Maria. Oh, what are you doing here? Come inside and I'll tell you. No. Huh? I said come inside. No, Mother! <laughs> mother! Mother! So you want to shout, huh? I'll just gag you. Now, you know what I want. Here's the knife. Now nod your head. Or I'll kill you. Why die, you fool? Come on. Nod! Are you insane? Don't you know you'll be sacrificing your life in vain? Who believe in your purity and virtue when you're dead, huh? I'll say what I like about you. And I'll say plenty. It'll be my living word against your no, dead word. No, 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 sin. Nobody no, need know it. No, no, mother. I can't trust you without no. the gag. All right. I'll just make it so tight. Your tongue can't break loose from it. Desirable when you struggle, Maria. Look, you gotta be mine. You got to. Nod your head. You hear me? Nod your head. Nod, nod, nod. You won't. All right. All right. Then die. Die, die, die. Andre, my Maria, she's dying. She's dying. Signora, now we'll be at the hospital soon. Oh, oh Maria, Maria, can you hear me? He wanted mother. He wanted, but he failed. For Alessandro, I'm very sorry for him. You're going. Padre, Padre, she's dead, she's dead. No, Signora. Her heart still beats. Padre, Padre, can I see her now? She'll live, won't she? Won't she? Signora, how she's lived this long is a miracle. Fourteen different times his knife pierced her vital organs. She's drained of blood, and yet she lives. It's a miracle. The doctors say she should have died instantaneously, but she lived. She lived to prove to this skeptical 20th century world of ours the power of purity. But she's going to die. That's what you're saying, isn't it? She's going to die. Signora, now you must try to calm yourself. Her body is going to die. But she, a martyr of purity, she'll live forever. No, no, no. Signora, why do you cry? God has granted burning wish of all mothers since Christ died for us. You've given birth to a saint. Padre, please, let's give her some water, no matter what the doctor says. Signora, do you want to add to your daughter's agony? You gave her water once, and you saw how she suffered for it. Water, water, water. My darling. Padre, what time is it? It's almost dawn, my child. But Donna is waiting for me. Maria... Maria, I I want you to search your soul before you answer me now. Maria, do you forgive your murderer? I, I don't need to search 
my soul, Padre. I've already forgiven him. And may God forgive him also. Because I want him with God in paradise like a repentant. Pardoned him. She's pardoned her murderer. Thank you, dear God, for allowing me to behold a true martyr of Christ. Father Girolamo was not alone in recognizing that although Maria Goretti was a mere child of twelve, she was fully conscious of what the law of God commands, what it promises, and what it threatens. She could have saved her life. Instead, she elected to suffer martyrdom, shedding freely of her blood, rather than to defile herself by sin. In 1944, the Pope signed a decree of her beatification. Immediately, cries came from all over the world for the Church to canonize her. And along with these cries came the skeptical cries of the world's doubting Thomases. Cries that the spirit of Maria dispelled when pilgrims flocked by the thousands to the church in Rome where Maria's body lay in state. From the four corners of the world came the lame, the halt, the deaf, the maimed, and the sick to invoke her name and to plead to be cured of medically pronounced incurable infirmities. And many were cured. And these miraculous cures were witnessed by thousands and confirmed by medical men. And one of the greatest miracles, a miracle of grace, the Alessandro of this story, after serving his prison term, entered a monastery where he is now living a life of penance in reparation for the sins of the world. In the Jubilee year of 1950, the Pope declared to a listening world that Blessed Maria Goretti is a saint. His words ring out. Above the foul marshes and mud of the world, there stretches a heaven of purity. It is the heaven that drew Maria. Mm.